But here's the thing. If they would just institute a 16-team playoff or an 18-team playoff and say, hey, look, you know what? We're taking the best eight teams in the nation, and we're just going to go ahead and create a playoff system. You guys play it out. There would be a true national champion. They're not doing that. They're not doing that at all. It's just crazy. It's honestly based on money. You know, a, a lot of the bigger schools don't want to give up the money that's involved with playing in these bowl games and the sponsors that are involved in the bowl games. But how much would that money, how much money, you know, do they receive? And how would that benefit a school like Cincinnati? Let's say, if, you know, actually Cincinnati's going to get paid quite well for playing in the Sugar Bowl. But let's say they're playing for the national championship. That's a lot more money. A lot more money. Now, I'm looking at a game for January 2nd, and I'm quite confused because seven and five teams actually get bowl bids. And this is the part that just I find ridiculous about college football in some certain aspects, is it's not NCAA basketball. You can't have 65 teams, one of those being a playoff, get, you know, like a play-in, you can't have 64 teams competing for a national spot. You don't do that in football. Do that in football, and it would be the greatest thing in Fred. Well, Fred, bubble bath, and a whole bottle of champagne, which I think I just saw. Now, here's the thing. If you do that, if you did, you filed the NCAA basketball formula, great. But here's the thing. When you have a 7-5 and five team like South Florida playing Northern Illinois, on January 2nd at 12 p.m. in Toronto, and calling it the International Bowl, the only people going to that game, especially from South Florida, um, are the football players. Because nobody from South Florida is making a trip to Toronto for the International Bowl at 12 o'clock on January 2nd on ESPN2. You're going to have more people at the South Carolina and University of Connecticut game, both 7-5, on January 2nd at 2 p.m., then you'll have the Northern Illinois South Florida game. Now, here's the thing. College football it is what it is. You have Boise State, perfect, and TCU, perfect, playing each other in the Fiesta Bowl. Um, does anybody besides me think that that should be the national championship game? Anybody? 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 Considering that you have, yeah, what... Really, really, you have Texas and Alabama playing a national championship game. You know, and I understand that, I understand that, you know, they've played their way in. they played harder schedules and everything. But seriously, you know what, if they want to make everybody happy, take the winner from Boise State, if you throw the winner against the winner of Texas and Alabama and call it a day. Just my opinion. But, you know, sometimes that's just what it is. Now, moving to other fronts, I'm kind of intrigued to see that Woodley from the Pittsburgh Steelers has gone on skating that certain teams in the NFL plan on, you know, just throwing the towel for the games on Sunday in the NFL. Now, here's the thing. Woodley. You play for the first Steelers. I like the Steelers. I like the Steelers a lot. But here's the problem. If you want to blame another team for your failure to get in to the playoffs, there's a problem. Play harder. You can't let the fact that Troy Polamalu has been out of your defense most of the year affect the fact that without him, you guys really aren't that great. And, you know, here's the thing. You got players, you got Marshall, you know, Brandon Marshall, who's going to be playing in his finale. You have, you know, Tom Brady, who's going to be playing in his finale. There is no reason why teams should just cave in and, and give up. Now, here's the thing. If the Jets win this weekend, they're in. Okay? If the Ravens win this weekend, they're in. And guess what, folks? After that, AFC is lined up, you're good to go, and let's play football. And next week we'll be talking playoff football. Now, I'll be back tomorrow night after the show, and we'll discuss more. We'll actually do an hour show tomorrow, 
We'll have more things going on. I'll be discussing some of the fines that are being imposed on NFL players coming down in, in the loop. And, and, and basically, I'll be taking you know, phone calls from, from listeners and everything else. One of, one of the bowl games that kind of surprised me, I had a conversation with a gentleman not too long ago, and I said, you know what, Navy and Army, why do they even have college football teams? And folks, I was proved why Navy had a college football team this year. Navy went 10-4 and, and and won their bowl game today against Missouri. Now, Missouri is usually a pretty decent team. And I know Navy's underestimated at times. The Navy won 35 to 13 over Missouri. Holy crap! Navy got some players. You want to, when you're done playing football, they will be overseas serving the country. So, God, God bless them. That's just going to be crazy. Other 